Hi, welcome to the Training Tools YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a workout with you with the resistance band. So that's all you need for this workout and a mat or a towel. We're going to do an upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, and then a cardio exercise. At the end of this, I'll also do all the exercises without the cardio moves in case you want to leave that out for the day. Let's get started with our first one. You're going to take the band around your back and it's probably going to be a little too long for this first exercise, so just kind of grab it up away from the handles. You're going to stand tall and we're going to do a chest press for 20. There's one, two. Make sure it's a challenge. Make sure you keep those elbows and wrists lined up, shoulders relaxed, and keep breathing. This is 10. We're going to do 10 more. 10. Exhale as you press out. Keep those elbows up. Make sure they don't drop. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to take that band down. You're going to step on it with both feet. Hold the handles. Both feet go onto the band. I want you to separate your feet. Pull those bands up. We're going right into squats. Go. One, two, three. Make sure you get that butt down. Four, you want to work all the way into the glutes. Five, weight in the heels, chest up. Six, always keep those abs in tight. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five more, four, three, two, last one. Good. Just take that band down to the floor. We're going into squat jacks. You're going to jack out into a squat, jump back in. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Grab that resistance band. Set number two. Overhead press. Take the band, drop it on one side. Step on it. Hands going straight up. Stop it right below the shoulder. Overhead press. Remember, you can make this tighter by stepping closer to your hand, or you can make it easier by stepping closer to the handle on the floor. 10 more. 10. Make sure you control the band. Don't let it snap you down. So you shouldn't look like this. Control it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, switch to the other side. Keep that other end on the ground, flip it. And here we go, 20 of these. Make sure you're controlling the band, your abs are in tight, you're standing tall, you're not leaning. It's great if you have a mirror you can look at to make sure your form is not going awry. Exhale up, inhale down. Eight more to go. Control that band. Four more. Four. Three. Abs tight. Two. Straight up and down. Last one. Going into lunges next. I want you to hold both of your handles. I'm turning sideways so you can see form. We're going to step our right foot on the band. Backwards with the left. Pull those bands up. Handles up to the shoulders. Drop that back knee and lift. Two. Three. Chest up. Abs in. Four. Front knee stays 
behind or directly over the toes. Give me 10 more of those. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand tall. Release those bands. Switch your foot out. Left foot on. Step back. Pull those handles up. Chest up. Abs in. 1. Drop that back knee down to the ground. 3. Push through that front heel to stand. 4. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten. Stand tall. Abs in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. One. Good. Drop that band. Cardio is bunny hops. We'll hop to the side, we'll hop to the side. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Abs tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Good, grab that band. Rear deltoids, standing tall. Walk your hands to the middle, straight out, shoulders relax. Pull that band back, bring it back to the front. Go. One, two, you're controlling it all the way. Three, hands closer makes it harder. Four, Hands further away makes it easier. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Abs tight, stand tall. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, last one. Good, put that band underneath the feet. Hold on the handles. So, step on it with both feet. Give yourself a little room in the center. Crisscross your handles to the other hand. So you're just switching handles. So your band makes an X. We're gonna do our abductors. You're gonna step out together. Two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Beautiful. Release that. Step off your band. Just leave it. And we're going to speed skater. One leg. Jump as far as you can to the other side. Make sure there's nothing underneath your feet. Go. One, two, get down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Grab your band. One foot on the band is easier. Two feet is harder. Choose your level. Stand tall, bicep curl. Now remember, go. One, it doesn't look like this. See how it's pulling my arms down? Control it. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10. Can you make it a little harder? 10. 9. Stand tall. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And one. We're taking this down with us to the mat. So I want you to go on your back, take the band, wrap it around right above your knees, tie it, and then hold those handles. Come on down to the ground. We're going to go up into bridge. So heels underneath the knees, abs in tight, lift up. Now I want you to do butterflies. So you're going to have to have this pretty tight. In fact, you might need to wrap it twice as I'm having issues here. There you go. So you're going to do butterflies so it doesn't roll down your leg. You might need to wrap it twice like I've done. Four. Keep those abs in tight. Hips up. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep breathing. Nine. Ten. Lift those hips now. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come down. Release that band. All right. We're going to stay on the ground. You're just going to flip it over. We're going into mountain climbers. Hands go right up underneath the shoulders. Abs in tight. Lift up and pull the knee in. So you're gonna go knee, knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Triceps. Take the band. One on the ground, one end. Step on it with one foot. Same arm, same foot. Makes it flow better. Push that arm up right by the ear. Drop the hand behind the head. Elbow stays. Press and down. See that? Two. Remember, closer to your hand makes it harder. Closer to the bottom handle makes it easier. Pick your level. Just don't go too easy on yourself. Make it a challenge. Full range of motion, please. Press it up. Yep, 10 more on this side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Abs tight. Stand tall. 5. Don't let that elbow float out, okay? Make sure it stays close. 3, 2, Last one. Beautiful. Bring that down. And I want you to switch over to the other side. So, foot goes on the band. Press it straight up. Make sure that elbow, arms right by the ear. Drop it down. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Don't snap your arm back down. Five. Remember, you're in control. Six. Seven. Keep those hips square. Eight. Nine, check that elbow, is it floating away? 10, bring it back. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, beautiful. Bring that down, we're going to calf raises. I want you to step on, both feet on. Just like we set up for our squat, you're going to pull it up and we're going to calf raise. Now, here's a little secret. Put your toes on because your heels are lifting. So I don't want you to snap yourself. These don't feel good when they snap you. Make sure you squeeze that calf as you come up. This is just adding some resistance is all. Control it down. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, abs tight, chest is up, six, five, 
four, three, two, last one, one. Good. Bring those arms down safely. Release those feet. We're going back to our cardio. Jacks. Ready. Abs tight. Go. Here's your high end version. Here's your low end version. Have shoulder issues? Just come halfway up. You can also do shoulder issues in the high end version. Here we go. 20 more because I have no idea where we are. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Give yourself a second before we go down to the mat. Go ahead and straighten your towel or mat back out if you need to. Get your band. We're going to do a seated row here. So, have a seat. Knees are bent. Band is going to go around the middle of your shoe. Now, most of us have a little groove there. That's where I want you to put the band. Sit up tall. Hold on the band, not on the handles. That's far too easy for most of us. Make sure that your band is not going to roll. It will snap you in the face here. We're going to pull back, squeeze those shoulder blades towards the spine, and release. Elbows stay up. They press out and back. Slow and controlled. Exhale back. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Pull that back. We're going to take that band around above our knees like we did last time. Give it a little tie there. You probably won't need to double this one. You're gonna lie back down. And what I want you to do is just keep a gentle pressure against that band. We're gonna go up into our bridge and then tap it down. Now you're not doing anything against the band. You're only just making sure that your legs don't press in or out. They stay parallel here. So, little bridge lifts. You squeeze your tush every time you lift. You keep those abs tight throughout. Make sure you're not pressing those knees out so far that they're not in line with your hips anymore. I want to see the knee ankle alignment here. Nine more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Bring that down. We're going to move that band out of the way. And the last thing we're going to do in this round is for our abs. We're going to do a little hip dips in plank. So come up into plank. You can either do full plank hip dips or you can come down to the forearms. Same thing, hip dip. Ready, go. 10, 9, abs pulled in tight. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Come back to standing slowly so you don't get dizzy and pass out. Go ahead and restart this if you'd like to do another set. I encourage you to do one or two more sets of this. If you'd like to do it without the cardio, I'm going to go through those exercises sans cardio now. So, either restart or you can keep going here. Okay, so if you don't need the cardio, let's do each of these exercises back to back. We're going to go all the way through without rest. Starting with our chest press. Bring the band behind your back. Hold on to the straps. Stand up tall, abs in, chest open. We're going to press it out and then slowly bring it back. Exhale as you press those hands out. Inhale as you come in. Want it to be a challenge, you guys. 
That's 10. We're going to do 10 more. 10. Abs pulled in. 9. Stand tall. 8. Shoulders relaxed. 7. For my tense people, don't do this. That's terrible form. Pull those shoulder blades down the back. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Bring those bands to the front. We're going to squat now. Both feet are going to go on the bands. Give me a nice spread foot there. Pull those handles up and squat. Woo! And two. Gotta get your balance. My core was obviously not tight there. Pull it in, keep that chest up, push through the heels as you stand. Remember to get as low as you can in those squats. You gotta work those glutes, and you gotta get low to work those glutes. Make sure you're not dropping in that squat. We wanna control it down. That's 10, 10 more. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, going into overhead press, you're gonna drop that handle down, step on one side, Press it up and down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Invasion of the bugs all of a sudden. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep breathing. Pull those abs in tight. Chest is up. Ten more. So you want to make sure you're not like this. Open up that chest. Lift that breastbone. Eight, seven, six, control it down, five, four, three, two, last one, one. Good, switch it to the other side. All right, set it up, abs tight, pull that belly button in and press. Make sure you press, control it all the way down. I need full range of motion, so make sure you're extending all the way up. If you have shoulder issues, you need to skip this exercise, that's fine. Twelve to go. Hopefully you're sweating too. Seven, six, five, straight up and down. Four, three, two, last one. Good, let's hit those lunges. All right, both hands hold a handle. One leg in the front. Let's start with the right or the left, whichever you feel comfortable with. We're gonna do both. Pull those handles up, step back into your lunge position, drop it down and up, that's one, two, three, control it down, chest up, four, don't lean forward, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one, beautiful, step it up, take a breath, hold both of those handles, left foot goes on, step back, pull those handles up, and lunge, one, two, Three, four, keep those abs in tight. Lean back just a wee bit. Five, six, seven, eight. Pull that belly button in. Drop that back knee down. Ten more. Ten. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one, good, step it up, we're going to do that rear deltoid, I want you to take your band, hold it somewhere in the middle, take a breath, stand it tall, arms go out, shoulders relaxed, and go, one, pull it out, you control it back in, two, three, four, abs pulled in, five, keep breathing, blow, Make sure those shoulders relax. Nine, ten. Don't pull tension in your shoulders. Ten. If you are, just relax those arms for a second. Shake them out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. All right, rear deltoids burning. Let's bring that band down. Both feet are going to step on it. Give yourself a little space in that center. You're going to crisscross, make an X, so the handles go in the opposite hand. I should start over here. Ready? Let's go. One, side steps. Two, control it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Little bend in the knee. Stick the booty out. 10, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, release those bands. And we're moving on to the bicep curl. One foot is easier, two feet on the band is harder. Ready, 1, stand tall, elbows by the side, 2, Control that band down. Three. This is too hard. Switch to one. Four. Five. Keep that belly button in. Chest is up. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten more. Really squeeze that bicep as you're lifting. Nine. That's the muscle right there. Eight. Squeeze it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. I'm going to change up the order here so we can stay on the mat all at once. Drop one end. We're going to go right into that tricep. Press it up. Drop that hand behind the head and press. That's one. Keep breathing. Two. Three, four, five, six. Remember to make it harder. Step closer to the hand. That's eight. Easier. Step closer to the handle on the ground. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Good. Now bring that down. Switch to the other side. Just flip that handle over. Step close to the handle to make it easier. Closer up towards the hand to make it harder. One, two, three. Abs tight. Feet lined up. Four. Chest open. Five. Don't let that elbow float away. Six. Seven, control it down. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Take it down to your mat with your band. So we're going to do a bridge with the butterflies. All right. So wrap that around. 
go ahead and tie it. And we're going to double wrap. So tie it on the top, double wrap it down, crisscross those handles. That'll make it tight where it won't slip away from your knees. Heels underneath those knees. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Lift. Glutes tight, abs tight. Butterflies open and close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Keep those hips up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Unwrap that. Sit up. Take that band around your feet. Make sure it's in the groove of your shoes. You don't want it to snap back and pop you in the face. That's for sure. Sit up tall. Hold on the band, not on the handles because that's far too easy typically. Chest is up, abs are in. Stretch the arms, relax the shoulders, pull those elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Release that. Wrap those legs again. Remember this time you don't necessarily have to double wrap it. We're just going to do those bridge lifts up and down. All right, give me a little tie there. We're gonna come down onto our back. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Hold that band. You're going to keep the knees in alignment. It's hips, knees, ankles. Nice straight line there. Lift those hips, squeeze the tushy in the butt, in the uh, abs, abdominals. Drop and squeeze. Keep those knees in alignment there. Keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, belly button in. Nine, squeeze the tush. Eight, seven, six, five. Push through those heels. Three, two, Last one. Good. Unwind that. And we're going to go to standing. We're going to hit those calf raises. Last exercise. Both feet go on your band. Separate them. Remember, for this one, we're going to step our toes more on it. So it's more your toes, ball of the foot, since those heels are coming up. Pull that band up and lift. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the shoulders up. Eight, abs tight. Nine, ten. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. You can restart this over to do those exercises back through. I suggest doing somewhere between two and four sets, depending on your fitness level and your goals. Thanks for joining me today. And if you hang around, I'll give you a couple tips about the resistance band if you need them. So the resistance band that I use today is called a Slastic. You can order this from powersystems.com. It's just a little bit stronger band in that the resistance band is on the inside of this black stuff, so if it breaks, it won't snap you because sometimes that does happen with repeated use. Um, 
Also, this is a great thing to take with you traveling. It's pretty lightweight. You can stick this in a bag and for my girls that carry big purses, you can even shove it in there if you have to. You can do so many things with the resistance band and make good use of your time. As you notice today, I didn't move very far off of that mat. So just that little space, that's perfect for a hotel room or even in your den, just move the coffee table out of the way. So you don't necessarily have to have a big gym and a bunch of equipment. You can get a sufficient workout with something like this. And this is fairly inexpensive. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.